The Sport Track's check engine light came on the other day, and sometimes the engine runs rough. This video will go through the diagnostic process I took to resolve this issue. The first step in the diagnostic process is to verify the concern. Yep, check engine light's on right there. Sarcasm aside, we need to check the fault codes present. I am using the OBD Link MX Plus scan tool. This can read and clear fault codes stored in the engine control module. It can also display freeze frame data and live data. The blue this Bluetooth scan tool works well with Windows, Android, and iOS. I found this on Amazon for under $100. For the number of vehicles I work on, this was a good investment. Another option would be to take it to O'Reilly's or Advanced Auto and have them scan the vehicle for free. The fault code stored is P0102. This comes up as mass or volume airflow circuit low input. This means that the mass airflow sensor is reading a lower voltage than the minimum specification at idle or at any other RPM. One of the many features of the OBD link is the ability to look at the PID values, also known as measured values or the live data. Selected here are the engine RPM, the mass airflow rate, and the absolute throttle position. With the engine running, the absolute throttle position does increase when the accelerator pedal is pressed. The mass airflow is staying at zero no matter the throttle position. This is the first step in directing us to look at the mass airflow sensor for being faulty. Perform a visual inspection of the mass airflow sensor and related wiring. If any damage to the sensor, replace the sensor. If any wire damage is present, repair the wires and retest. Now for some more hands-on testing. Grab a multimeter and disconnect the mass airflow sensor connector. Turn the ignition on and verify there is power and ground at the connector. The pins to check should be pin 2 and pin 3. Pin 2 is the power and should show more than 10 volts. Pin 3 is the ground and should show 0 volts. If there is a good power and ground, reconnect the connector. The last thing to check before replacing the mass airflow sensor itself is the actual signal from the sensor to the engine control module. Ideally, a special inline jumper harness would be used to check the signal, but they are not common and have a highly specific use case. An alternative option is to back probe the connector with a multimeter. This is kind of frowned upon due to the wire sheathing being punctured, which then exposes the wire to the elements, increasing the risk of corrosion. If back probing, make sure to reseal the wires with liquid electrical tape after repairs are performed. Reconnect the mass airflow sensor connector, back probe pin 5 to ground with the multimeter and start the engine. At idle, the voltage should read between 0.5 and 0.7 volts. Increase the engine RPM and the voltage should increase anywhere from 1.5 to 3 volts. If no voltage or no change in voltage is present, the mass airflow sensor is not sending a signal to the ECM. After removing the faulty mass airflow sensor, check to see if any of the hot wires inside the sensor are damaged and broken. These wires change temperature as airflow moves across them. This temperature is turned into a voltage which is then read by the ECM. If there is a broken wire, then the ECM does not receive the signal. Replace the mass airflow sensor. Back probe the connector with the new mass airflow sensor to verify a proper signal is being sent. After successfully repairing or replacing the mass airflow sensor, clear the fault code and perform a test drive. Make sure to cycle the key at least twice during the test drive to check for a returning check engine light. 